Hi guys, welcome back to Journey with Shaw and I am really hungry, but I don't want to eat any meat or anything like that. Excuse the mess back here, y'all. Just excuse the mess. We're moving, so we got stuff stacked up. But anyway, I come to you really quick because we're going to do this really fast video. I want to taste these vegan items from Trader Joe's. The first one we have here, you guys, this one is a vegan dish. It is rice cauliflower bowl. It is made with tahini sauce, marinated chickpeas, sweet potatoes. It is baked tofu and roasted onions. So we're going to put this in you put it in for um in the microwave for two to three minutes and we're gonna see how it comes out y'all these are the ingredient facts there we go and so we're gonna test that one and so we're gonna pull this out and see what it looks like y'all that's what it looked like right there okay we're gonna see if this is good because if it's not good i'm gonna tell y'all the truth i'm not one of these people like it's good if it's not good, I'm going to tell you the truth, Ruth. Okay, so we're going to take this one out of the bowl. This one's Chana, Kana, Masala. I don't want to butcher the name. It's that one, okay? C-H-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. There we go. This one is made with onions, chickpea, tomatoes, and it's got um, just delicious ingredients. It's all really clean ingredients in here. Turmeric, bay leaves, really, really good. Okay, so I can't wait to try that. And that is the ingredients in the back. Okay, and we're gonna see what this looks like. That's what it looks like, y'all. So I can't wait to taste it. That's what that one looks like. There we go, get a better view. That's what that looks like, y'all, okay? So we're gonna see what that looks like. The next thing we have here is the Fully Falafel. Now here in Southern California, especially in the uh, Valley area, there's a lot of these on the side. You get food trucks, falafel food trucks. There's little falafel stands. Um, it is a lot. I believe this is a Middle Eastern, um, Middle Eastern dish, but I have not tried it before, but we have a huge Middle Eastern community. And I tell you, the food is delicious and also great food delicious so we're gonna try this um don't quote me i don't know if this is greek or middle eastern y'all comment down below and let me know for sure what is this is it greek or is it middle eastern let me know all right so that is that that looks delicious and we're gonna see what it tastes like y'all people make sandwiches out of this stuff and everything but that is it so let's go let me get this cooking next time you see me we'll be doing the taste test okay y'all so stay tuned Oh, and also I went to um, Ikea and I'm going to be doing an Ikea veggie uh, test coming up. The vegetarian and the um, vegan meatballs, y'all. So y'all stay tuned for that coming up soon. All right. All right. So let's get to cooking. I'm going to cook it. So this one I just put in the my little toaster oven, the Drew Barrymore oven at 375 for 23 minutes. We're going to see how that comes out. This one, I'm going to cook it last because it's in the microwave only. I'm not a fan of just microwave only, but I don't see a conventional oven option. So we're just going to do that just for tonight. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this, this right here, it has canola oil in it. I did not see that. Joshua, usually I read Joshua wouldn't got these from the store, but I'm not a fan of uh, canola oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil. She's not a fan, but tonight we're going to pray. It's going to be okay. So anyway, I'm gonna open this up. Let me get some scissors. And let me open this. And we're gonna, child, we got a little shallow, little glass baking sheet here. I'm gonna cut this open. Not all the way, cause I don't want a bunch of them. Let's see what they look like, y'all. Make sure you got clean hands, okay, y'all? So we're gonna cut this open. Smells good, y'all. It really do, it smells really good. So that's what they look like. This is my first time ever tasting the falafel. And I should be ashamed of myself because it is almost on every corner where I am on in my neck of the woods. They are everywhere and they do all kinds of beautiful sandwiches, dishes, y'all. They do all kinds of things, wraps with these things. So mom and I are gonna taste them. And then I'm going to um, go to an actual place where I can get them handmade right there in the shop and just taste it. We're gonna try six tonight. I'm so excited. I love trying new things and I just cannot believe. That's one thing I do love about Los Angeles is that we have so much diversity when it comes to our food culture. And I absolutely love it. We have a big um, Ethiopian um, 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 community. We have Middle Eastern and that can be um, anywhere from Persian to um, Armenian and then we have big Greek community and we have 
Um, we don't have a real big Italian community. I mean, we have some Italian places, but not a big Italian. Man. And one thing that California is really known for, y'all know we got the best of, can't nobody challenge it, and that is our Mexican food community, y'all. Let me tell you, some of the best Mexican food you have ever put in your mouth. And we also have a big Asian culture yes. here, and that is Asian as in Asian, like Indian cuisine. We have Chinese, Taiwanese, we have... Um, 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 Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese. I mean, it is so much culture here. And that is what I love about Los Angeles. So once we get everything done with this um, all being cooked, I'm gonna come back y'all and we are gonna try some food. So y'all stay tuned. This I would say is not quite healthy because I said it has the um, canola oil in it. You wanna stay away from frozen foods as much as possible. But if it's a treat day, something quick, I've been out all day and I said, you know what? Let me just do this and do a taste test for you all. I'm not one that likes to do a lot of frozen foods. I like to make it more handmade or either go get it from a restaurant and then bring it home. Um, because you have to be careful. They're putting all kinds of stuff in frozen food. But I have to say that out of all the frozen foods that I've chosen tonight, this is the cleanest. It literally has has no bad oil in it I still I just I just you know I, I'd rather try to make this rather than buying it but sometimes you know when you don't have time y'all just go ahead on and grab it okay y'all she hungry she back yes yeah, she's back the food is not done yet still cooking but I wanted to come in and let you all see one of my newest finds I'm trying to find healthier snacks and better quality snack. This is my new find this week, okay? Char's find for this week is the Mosaic Real Veggie Chips Barbecue, y'all. Lord have mercy, why she find this? She is so addicted. Okay, y'all, look at these. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna turn this around so y'all can see the ingredients. Y'all see the ingredients right there? It has olive oil in it, y'all. It's made with olive oil. So I've already tasted it, but I'm gonna do a taste test for y'all. Y'all, change my life when it comes to chips. Now, whenever I am eating like a sandwich or something, or just something quick that I've made and I want some chips, this is it, y'all. Listen. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> y'all better go out and get some mosaics. Now, I found these as sprouts. They do have plain. And what's the other flavor they had? Salsa. Now, I'm going to tell you, all of them are good. All of them are good. But, child, this barbecue, the seasoning on this chip is just incredible. Y'all, it's just enough. Mmm. It reminds you of those rice cakes. It's very crunchy. But, y'all, it just does something to you. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. These are so fantastic, y'all. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to crunch in y'all's ear, but this is the nutrition fact on the back. Healthier choice, better than Ruffles and Doritos and Cheetos, child. And just something when you are just craving a chip, the crunch, the barbecue flavor, especially if you love barbecue chips, child, this is your new friend. Please go and check this out. Y'all see that? That's got kale in it, child. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So I wanted to share that with you all. Because she, especially, ladies, when it's that time of month, and you are craving something salty and sweet, this is your friend. They were two for six, and they were out sprouts here in Southern California area. If you have a sprouts in your area, go check it out. But I would do any health food store. You guys, you can do, some people have a Henry's or some people have um, Whole Foods. I'm, 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 I don't know for sure, but I wouldn't doubt if they sell these at Whole Foods. But any of your healthy food stores, look online. All you got to do is put in Mosaic Chips. They do sell them online at Amazon. So that's great. If you can't find them in the store, go to Amazon. But you guys, check it up and, and just look, go on their website. And then it'll say where we sell in your area. And it'll pop up wherever you can go and get it from the stores. All right, y'all. Please go and check these out. When you do get them and you try them, y'all let me know. Girl, I tried the mosaics. And let me tell you, child, it changed my life. Yes. <laughs> it changed my life too. All right. Another thing I want to share with y'all that is absolutely delicious is the grain-free tortilla chips made with avocado oil. And it's dairy-free. And this is ranch. 
Y'all, this is your friend, okay? She is your friend. Trust her, all right? She is delicious, okay? This is what she looked like. And it's got a tangy, ranchy sauce. Mmm. You know, this is a sauce I got it last night, y'all. It's still green. And we got that from Barlarta's. Okay, this is where y'all see. That's the name of the store right there. Okay. Y'all, you get this because she is so hungry. We have one of the dishes and it just came out here. I'm going to taste them while they're hot versus waiting until all of them are done. Okay, so mom and I are going to go in right now. Ooh, that smells like that chicken masala stuff. Ooh, that smell, y'all. Oh my goodness, that smells phenomenal. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys see. Look how that looks. Okay, that's chickpea. Ooh, we're going to see how this tastes. It is hot and it is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead on and taste this first. It's really hot. I don't want to burn the roof of my mouth. But that's the worst thing and it takes forever to heal. And you know when you greedy, you eat real quick, child. She did that one time. I was so greedy, I went and I had the pizza. I put it in my mouth and it sizzled the entire roof of my mouth, y'all. It took, well, almost half of it. It took the longest time to heal. Mama, please get a spoonful because I want to get your opinion too about it. We're going to tell y'all the truth about Trader Joe's Chana or Kana. Y'all, I hope I'm saying that. Chana, masala. So it is a masala. Okay, it is a masala. I think it's another option than the chicken. Mmm. Okay. The sauce is amazing. It's got that masala taste. Um, it is absolutely delicious. We double dipping because we family. It is absolutely delicious. The chickpeas, um, to me, doesn't seem like they cooked all the way. They're cooked, but not all the way. There's still some texture to it. I'm not um, fond of that. But if you cook it a little longer, probably would need to be cooked a little longer. It is phenomenal. Just let your let it cook longer than the 23 minutes. I should have let it cook maybe 25 to 26 minutes. Y'all see that onion right there? And just the color of it, it is just beautiful. It really is beautiful. Mmm. I like that. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, yeah, I like this. Mm-hmm. Just got to let the peas cook a little longer. I say 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks too. Okay, other than that, this is a phenomenal dish. This is really delicious. It's just spicy enough. enough. Just spicy enough for you? Yeah. Okay, but it is amazing. It's it's, and if you have that non bread, you can just dip it in that delicious, that sauce is so beautiful. And this is enough to share between two people because it's a lot in here. So next up, you guys, is the, we're going to put the cauliflower bowl in the microwave right now. And we have about three more minutes with the um, falafel. Hopefully that cooks good enough. And then we'll be tasting that, so you all stay tuned. Okay, you all, so this is cauliflower. So again, what we're going to taste right now doesn't look like the package, but this is what we're going to taste right now. And that is cauliflower rice with sweet potatoes and kale. And tofu is in here. Tofu. So it's hot, but she's doing this for y'all. This is what it looks like right here. And I think the, what you call this, is about to be done. I want to make sure I get some tofu in there. I want y'all to see what I'm, what I have here. We got some chickpea, some sweet potato. I want to get everything. Okay, there we go. Let's try to get that bite in. And we're going to see. So let me blow on it because it is hot. Okay. Mm. Okay, I guess that's that tahini sauce. It's tangy. It's got a tang to it, huh? Mm -hmm. I surprisingly, so stuff you have to. I surprise. I, I like it. Okay, so this is chickpea. It's got this is cauliflower. It has a tang to it. 
And I'm thinking that's that tahini sauce, you guys. Really make sure you mix it so everything can come together. Um, the tikka masala chickpea, I'm going to give that a four. Because if you cook it longer, um, it'll be a five. Because I really do like the flavor. If you cook the peas a little longer, it'll be a five. This, I'm going to give this a three and a half. What would you give it? Mm -hmm. Mommy, honestly. Back about a three. Mommy gives it a three. I give it a three and a half. I think it's 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 okay. It's just in. It's just I give in. it about a three and a half. All right, y'all. Probably should have done my homework. I just saw these. Told Joshua just grab them, and what to eat with these. Like what sauce to put on top of these. Comment down below. I'm gonna look online and do my research and find out how. But if this is your culture, this is your food. Let me know how you guys eat this down below, and I will try that next time. Or if you've just tried it before and this is something you love, let me know down below um, what to eat it with and I will try it next time. So now I'm going to give this to you, mommy. It's hot. These are cute. They're like little cakes. I'm going to get a little knife and I'm going to cut it open so you guys can let me know if it looks authentic. Because you know it's Trader Joe's. But Trader Joe's can do pretty good. The Jamaican pies that they did were pretty, pretty good. I did a video on their Jamaican beef pies, y'all. And I went to an authentic Jamaican place and tried um, them side by side. And I tell you, Trader Joe's was doing pretty good. Of course, it wasn't authentic, but it did pretty good. It's frozen. If you want to see that video, I will put the link down below. Okay, so, good. so far, this is very hot, but she's holding it. This is what that looks like. It's got a really crunchy olive shell, shell which that seems like that's enjoyable, right? And so now we're going to cut this in half. And that's what it looks like in the inside, y'all. See that? That's what it looks like in the inside. Okay, here we go. What you think? Okay, what all is in here? I think it's sesame I'm tasting. What am I tasting? Something's really strong in here. Ma, you... You taste that? Yeah. What is that? It's something really strong. I gotta get used to this taste. Mm -hmm. I have to get used to this. Um, let me tell you, she dip it in the tikka masala. It tastes taste good though. But anyway. I have to get used to this. What I do like about it, there's a lot of flavors going on. A lot. There is something in there that I have to get used to. Joshua. I wouldn't, huh? Joshua, I like that. You like it? Yeah. Joshua likes it. As it lingers and goes into your mouth and you keep mm -hmm. eating it, it does get better. I love the texture. I love the crunch. I love the texture. But there's something I have to get used to it. But the more you do, you let it linger, the more it does get better. Now, I don't know if there's supposed to be a sauce on top of this. Josh want another one, y'all. You want another one? No, I just take this one. You like it, Mike. You like it, okay? Josh was very particular. It is good the more you let it linger. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that flavor is though. That's strong in here. I like trying different cultures. I love trying different cultures. A few food. I think I give this a three. I give it a three. Listen to the crunch. Mm. I wonder how close did Trader Joe's get to the original. That's what I want to know. See, that's the thing. I am the type, surprisingly, but I didn't know I was going to do this tonight. I would want to go get some authentic ones and then taste Trader Joe's up against the authentic ones. And then we will be able to see if this is authentic enough. I know that their Jamaican pies were pretty good, but these, I don't know. So... I know it's Middle Eastern, but this right here lets me know, try more Middle Eastern food. We have a huge Middle Eastern community and mm -hmm. I want to try more. I know I've mm -hmm. tried some Persian food before and I love Persian food. Um, the girl who used to do my eyebrows, she used to always, Persian New Year, they would come out and she would give us all kinds of different dishes we could taste. And also some, remember those little sweets, the little square things and they disintegrated in your mouth. They were so good. And she would give us this drink that had vinegar in it, 
but it was sweet. You remember how good that drink mm -hmm. was? That drink was so good. So I give that a three. Joshua, what do you rate it? Three mm -hmm. to, what do you rate it? One out of four, one to five. What do you rate it? Joshua gives it a five. He absolutely loves it. Um, what do you give this? Joshua gives this a four. This right here, I give it, um, what did I say? I gave this a four. That masala, oh my goodness, it's delicious. And then this one with the um, tahini, the tofu, and the, cauliflower rice. and the cauliflower rice, I give this one a three. That's healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is healthy. I actually give that a five because it Mommy gives healthy. it a five because she likes the fact that it's healthy. Mm -hmm. You can't taste the cauliflower. You will really think it's not cauliflower. You'll think it's rice. And the tofu, mm -hmm. I have to say the tofu bits in here are really nice. Mm. They're made very well. They just really, they're nice. They're not chewy. It's just really nice chew. And the sweet potato is pretty good. Okay. So there you have it, you guys. The falafel. I'm going to put it back in the freezer. And then this is the rice cauliflower um, bowl here. Okay. I give this a three. I give this one a four. Let it cook um, a little longer in your fridge in your oven and it'll be a five and the falafel i give the falafel a three i have to get used to the taste but my family absolutely love it i think it's delicious all right you all thank you so much for tuning in to journey with char if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see please hit that subscribe button make sure you also hit the notification bell every time i upload a new video it will alert you and you all can come and check me out now let me know do you all like these taste tests let me know maybe we'll do a friday taste test every friday something healthy okay something healthy um whether it's frozen homemade or whether it's somewhere but we want to kind of take it where it's somewhere we've gone and um we're bringing it home so you can taste it so we can try to see how it is all right you all remember always trust god keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction i'll see you soon god bless bye bye also let me know if you've tasted any one of these dishes comment down below and you all if you comment and also hit the subscribe button it helps the algorithm of my channel that really helps my channel grow and youtube will push my channel up when you hit the subscribe and also the thumbs up all right and comment i would really appreciate i love hearing from you all thank you so much for tuning in you all be blessed i'll see you soon bye bye